So people have asked me to do a video on getting The Sims 4 running on Linux, so that's what we're going to be doing here. First things first, I'm going to be doing this video on Ubuntu Budgie because I have never featured this distro on a channel before, and because I already know that The Sims 4 will work on it practically out of the box, so it makes it a relatively simple video to make. Now the very first thing that we'll do is make sure display drivers are installed. The Sims 4 will work without any issues on NVIDIA cards, but AMD and Intel users might have a rough time largely due to performance issues. Luckily, the recent versions of Ubuntu come with the display drivers pre-installed so that you don't have to explicitly install anything unless they're like really out of date or something, which would be weird. Next, we'll need to get our hands on Lutris, which is a Linux app or game launcher manager thing. At this point in time, Lutris is not available as a Snap, Flatpak, or App Image, and on Ubuntu, you'll need to get your hands on a special PPA to install it. On distros like Mint and Pop OS, it should be available from the default repos, so you don't have to screw around with the PPA, which is nice. Now, once we get Lutris installed, we'll hop on over to the Lutris wiki and find the entry that talks about installing Origin on Linux. And as you can see, running Origin through Wine requires a handful of extra libraries, so we'll go ahead and install those. And while we're at it, we should check to make sure Vulkan and the 32-bit libs are installed too, so that we can avoid any errors due to compatibility issues. Now, if you're on a distro other than the ones listed on the wiki, you'll need to source those packages yourself. And when you do, please add them to the wiki because it's open source after all. Once Lutris and your display drivers are installed, it is time to install Origin. You can install apps straight from Lutris using the search box and the searchlutris.net button next to it, but my initial search for Origin actually locked Lutris up and I had to restart it. If you search from Lutris and it doesn't work for you, you can just download the install script straight from Lutris.net, just the same as doing it from Lutris itself. It's all really easy. Once we find Origin, we can begin the install, which is mostly silent except for a few wine install prompts. The install took a pretty damn long time for me, probably five minutes or more. And then of course, once Origin was installed, it didn't want to launch, probably because I was recording footage for this video. If you encounter any weird issues like that, just reboot your computer or your session and just try it again. I shit you not, this fixes most of the issues that I've had while running games on Lutris. Origin should launch without any issues though. You should see a login screen like this one where you put in your account information and poof, you're logged in, running Origin on Linux. The hardest part of getting The Sims 4 running is done. And once we're in Origin, we can begin The Sims 4 download. And while the download is running, we'll want to make a couple changes to the Origin settings, mainly to disable Origin in-game because it doesn't work so good on Linux and you don't need it anyway. I also like to turn off automatic updates because Origin is kind of a pain sometimes and it updates itself constantly and those updates sometimes break Linux support. So when I have it working, I want to keep it working, so I turn those damn updates off. Oh, and also, keep your eye on Origin's download speed. Sometimes something gets screwed up and the download speed just drops to zero. If that happens, just close Origin completely and reopen it in Lutris. And once the download is done, The Sims 4 is installed, and that's it. Go ahead and launch it. You may need to tweak the graphics settings, but besides that, that's it. You got The Sims 4. Now keep in mind that this video and these instructions are not future-proof. I actually did a video about getting The Sims 4 running on Linux years ago using Play on Linux, and that video is completely obsolete. But that's also why I turn off automatic updates, because I want to keep it working. If you're interested in how I got The Sims 4 running for the DistroDelves episodes, it's actually pretty clever. I previously installed Origin and The Sims 4 to an external SSD, and I basically just tell Lutris to use that particular wine prefix and point it at that Origin EXE. It's that simple. And that's going to wrap this one up. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm over on Twitter, Coffee, and Patreon if you're interested in following and learning more about what I do. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.